Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to put flashes of colour through short hair like mine. Now, I'm going to show you the method to do this, which is actually really, really simple. I believe that anyone can do this. Um, and the interesting thing about it is, is that you can use different products to get different results. So I'm actually going to be using just conditioner because I don't want to change the colour of my hair today, but I can show you exactly how to apply it. And I'm going to talk to you quickly now about the different results that you can get. So if you are looking for something a little bit more brighter, in these packets you can use a bleach. Um, I always really go to the Jerome Russell B Blonde Bleach for home hair colour techniques. I really like the consistency of it. If you're going to use that in the packets, then you're going to get a brighter lift on your hair. You can then either keep the hair, the colour of your hair through the rest and just tone those flashes, or you could choose a different colour, like a semi-colour, put it in between the packets and then massage it just to tone the flashes after you um, wash those out. If you're not wanting to go for something quite as strong as a bleach, you can use tint, you can use semi, you can use demi. It really just depends on what your natural base is, what colour is already on your hair and what you're trying to achieve. If you are not wanting to use peroxide on your hair at all, you can use the, um, you can do this method with the um, super drug colour effects. You can use the, uh, bleach London um, like I say this this is this technique is really quite versatile in application I can't get my words out um, it just depends on what the result so I'm going to show you how to do it and then if you're unsure um, if you love the technique and you're unsure what you should be using then we can always have a consultation or put a message into the facebook group and then i can talk to you a little bit more about what will be suitable for your hair in particular so what you're going to need to do this tutorial is um you can you could do this with foil but on short hair for this method i'm going to suggest you use easy mesh or ultra mesh which is these packets here i've got a box of the long packets if you've got short hair they also do um a short box the state of my box um i've got lots of these so i am just going to use these because i've already got them here um but they do do shorter boxes i usually order them off amazon because they come the next day and they're really good products the reason why these are the best things to use for this method and not foil is because they stick so it makes the whole technique much easier you can literally put it in it will stick and then you can put your product on um which is amazing uh you need a pintail comb and a section clip and that is it so i'm gonna just um get myself set up and then i will show you how to do it okay so i'm just going to show you now quickly um, how to rip up the mesh packets so you literally just pull the clear bit open and then the blue bit is sticky so obviously i'm sticking them to my trolley but you're if you've got a side a dressing table kitchen side um anywhere that you can uh stick them along a mistake sometimes people make is sticking them to each other <laughs> So when you, if you look at how I'm doing it, I'm putting them one in front of the other. I'm sure that you are capable of that. But believe it or not, uh, that is what some people do. So making sure they're not stuck together, just putting them in a row. I would say you probably, I think I use about 15, um, 15, 16, so that you've got, um, what's that, eight each side and then um yeah i think that'll probably do you can always mix up more there um i've got my tint brush and bowl and then this is a tube of conditioner so i'm just going to put that in um so yeah it won't do anything it's just conditioning on the hair and you only need about that much color if you're doing it with color mixing it up and ready to go Okay, so you can decide where you're going to put these packets. I'm going to do this time 
um, like as if it's from the middle. But if you got, if you always wear your hair over to one side, um, you might want to place it differently. But for the purpose of this video, because I changed my hair parting, um, which I think most people do like to play around with it. So I'm just going to put these ones in um, sort of evenly, if you like. So you get your section, um, your pintail comb, and then you just want to clip that out. So I go at an angle, sort of framing the face. Um, so how they're placed, it will just be sporadic flashes through through your hair. In this video, I'm weaving it. It's quite uneven, sort of weave some bigger than the other. Um, again, not not too much thought into it. You just take your slice like that. But you might find you even want to go quite chunky. But for the, for the first time doing this, I would go for similar sort of size weaves as this. Um, yeah, like maybe three or four in each packet. So I've got the bit of hair there that I've weaved out like that. Um, and then you're going to get your mesh packet. And then sticky side up like that you're going to put it underneath the bit of hair that you've weaved and then literally hold your finger on there get your product and then you're just going to go down so obviously if you are putting bleach in this and you've got bleach on the ends then you don't want to put the uh the bleach all the way down to the end you just want to come down far enough to where it's bleached, if that makes sense. So you do your natural root area and then the bit at the bottom leave out where it's already bleached because you don't want to overlap that. Um, if you're doing any other colour, you can just take it down to the end. It's oh, That's really only um, an issue if you've got bleach. Um, so you can see I've sort of taken a section probably about an inch, but and then I'm going to take a slice off of the top of that. And again, you can build this up. So like this is like your first step of doing it. If you want to do them closer together, you can do them closer together. But this is the idea more of like just doing it in like flashes so that you've got sporadic bits of colour going through rather than too much. Um, which obviously works because you're just putting it through the top. You're not putting it through the sides and the back. So you're keeping um, a lot of the colour the same through the top and the sides as well so it's quite even although with a shorter haircut i do think it looks nice when the top is a different color to the sides and the back anyway so you can see i've just done the same again there this is just conditioner so i'm going up but you can see like they're not all perfect and you're not going all the way up to the scalp you're literally just taking the color to about halfway up that blue bit you don't want to go to the top because otherwise the product will come out of the packet. So you literally, if anything, go to the bottom of that blue sticky bit rather than the top. Just so that you know that you're not going to um, have any of the product seeping. And again, you're just literally going to pick bits out with your pintail comb. Pull that down. And get your mesh packet there i mean the, what great inventions i mean the thing is you can do this with foil but because the foil doesn't stick it makes it a lot harder especially on shorter hair um because it sticks it, look you see i could take my finger away and it stayed there if you had foil it would be bouncing out and coming out all over the place so i definitely would invest in a box i think they're about 10 pound a box it's not expensive and you get 250 sheets in them so they're going to last you quite a long time. Um, they're not reusable. You do wash them or uh, throw them away afterwards, um, which maybe is not that environmentally friendly. But um, for the purpose of hair and what we're using them for, that is um, that is the equipment we're using for now. Uh, so, yeah, just done the same again. So you can see I'm just sort of, it's like a V shape. So I'm just working with the hairline. Now, weaving that out. Um, put it in your packet in and yeah like I was going to say earlier you can like so with the flashes you can sort of start this if you want to be more daring you can you you could do it in um 
just straight wefts and not even weave it. You could just literally take that fine section and, and colour that whole uh, weft. Like, obviously, the more natural the colour that you're using, I mean, I would say definitely do that. If you're using, like, um, like Bleach London or Colours Without Peroxide, and, you you know, it'll be so much more subtle that you maybe are better off just doing a straight weft. But I think, you know, it's all it's all playing around, and then you, you once you see the results you get, then you'll get more confidence, and then you'll adapt it to how you want it. You'll decide whether you want it more or whether you want it less. Um, so this is really the best place to start. And then sticking it over. Like I say, I've got um I have long one long mesh because obviously I'm using them on clients, but um they do do short mesh, which is like half of the size if you have got short hair. Or, you know, if you've got short hair and you're growing it, maybe you want to have get the longer ones and then you know you've got them for whatever length your hair is, or if you're using them on someone else. So again, you're just putting that in, holding your finger there just to get it in place. And then really you can take your finger off like that. But yeah, you can have so much fun with these. Like, like I say, this, this um, technique you can just do with colours without peroxide. You haven't got to um, com do anything c committal. You could, if you want to just play around and see how you get on with it, just start by doing, you know, you could put um, just the Bleach London colours in the packets rather than putting it all over your hair. Just putting that in. So you can see I'm sort of doing the same coming up each side. And going into that sort of V shape, and I'll go up towards the crown. And just take it another section. So yeah, if you're, you know, once you've watched this and you're like, I definitely want to do it and you want to um, ask some questions, then just literally put in the, put in the group any questions you have and um, I will help you decide what you should use to get the result that you want. And again, you can do this on any length hair. I mean, you can do this even if you've had like, you know, this is another variation so of the home highlight. If you if you find you haven't got on so well with the home highlight light technique, which is like the freehand, you can do this through your parting and it's just highlighting up a little bit um, through the parting as well in the packets. So that will lighten your root as well. So you can always use it like that. It's like I said, it's quite a versatile method. And then just getting that packet in there. My tummy's always rumbling. I feel like every time I do one of these, my tummy rumbles. And this will be the last one just there. And again, like, go... Um, uh, try. Don't go to, you know, go f not as near the root rather than too near the root, if that makes sense. As you get to the back and you may not have such a good eye angle, do it less than more um, so that you don't uh, let it bleed. And then you just want to clip them out up out of the way. And that is it. They are in, ready to go. Okay, so I've put the packets in, as you can see. Um, so they don't need to be too even. You don't need to get it too close to the root. To the root. When you've got short hair, it's all about getting texture into the color. 
Um, also, if your hair is bleached all over, this is a great technique you could do to put flashes of like a stronger different color. So if you're maybe playing around with like pinks or bleach London colors, but you want to have some of it a bit stronger, you could literally have the overall, um, just your bleach or just with a very pale pink. And then you could go in stronger, mix up a stronger pink or a stronger blue or whatever color you fancy in these packets so that you get, you know, a bit more dy dynamic to your, um, to your uh, funky color. Um, so obviously I've just done this with conditioner, so I'm just gonna take it out. But there, uh, this is really just a really straightforward way to mix up your short haircut and play around with color. Um, so yeah, any questions, let me know. So I'm just about to take these out. Um, so these packets are sticky. Um, so all you need to do is put the shower head on them and it will <laughs> it will uh, wet the the sticky area and they will fall out so depending on what you're going to put in your packets now um so let's say for example you're putting bleach on and you're going to leave that on for 60 minutes and then you're going to put um like a semi in between so you would leave this on your hair for half an hour then you'd mix up the semi you put it in between you'd leave that for 20 minutes and then you put water on your hair the packets will come out and then you would massage all of your i should have kept that clipped up really um, massage all of it in together for a minute so that it slightly tones the bleach that's in the packets and then you wash that off if you are just literally going to put some, um, like a, a, a softer colour in the packets, you literally leave it on for the full development time. And like I say, just get the shower head and the packets will just slip out of your hair. Um, so yeah, it's a really simple technique. Um, and I think you will really like it. I It's just conditioner in these packets. So I've literally just... just um, pulled the packets open and just left the conditioner in because you know, you should know. I love conditioner as a styling product, so I'm literally just gonna dry this into my hair. So you've seen my hair, I washed my hair yesterday, so I've literally just put this conditioner on dry hair, um, but I'm still gonna dry it in my hair and use it as a, um, as a styling product. Okay, so you can see, I never dry my hair that way, so I've just done it a bit different. But you can see how that conditioner, like, I mean, you have to get over the fact that it, um, like, 
it, you can feel it in your hair, but for texture and styling short hair, I don't think you can get any better than doing it with conditioner. It literally makes the hair do whatever you want it to do. Love it. Like I say, if you have any questions about what you want to put in the packets, then just let me know and um, yeah, we can work it out. But I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>